thought we would pick the stock of the day as Appen again because it came up yesterday. I don't think Henry Jennings would mind me saying that he put this on a watch list, a potential buy, noting that it had a strategic review ongoing, noting that uh, it really was a terrible looking chart. And he also thought it had AI as a potential tailwind behind it. So today, Appen launching cost cutting plans First quarter earnings coming through, revenue dropping about 21% to 95.7 million. Company took a hit to its earnings, spending cuts by major customers, including Facebook, Google, and Amazon. So there you go, App and Shares absolutely getting hammered today. Perhaps no big surprise when you consider that we uh, have had that update coming from the company. Uh, so, I will ask my guests, uh, what do they think of Appen? Uh, could it get any worse? Does that mean it will get better? Carl. Yes, I was waiting for who you're going to there. Uh, me, I'm lucky first. Uh, look, it, it can always get worse, Nadine. That's the problem with the stock market. I guess once you're at zero, that's the only time you can say your stock can't get any worse. Um, it, it, it's getting pretty bad though for Appen and I think it's very easy to um, sort of fall into this narrative with Appen that oh it's got AI, uh, AI is big, it's getting bigger, uh, chat GPT, I had a chat with it the other day and it wrote my, uh, my uh, English essay on that book that I was supposed to do. Um, but Appen's AI is very different from that, and they are, uh, by their own admission, quite deficient in the area of generative AI. And that's the sort of AI that uh, thinks for itself is not the right uh, way to put it, but it, it will uh, sort of on the go, on the hop, um, come up with uh, conversations with you or come up with information that you might need. Appen's AI is more training AI. So the idea, and often uh, human-based as well, uh, where much of the industry is moving away from human-based training to it, its own uh, AI-based training, funnily enough. Uh, where that ends is uh, watch uh, maybe a, a, a famous movie from the 80s, who knows? But we digress. The bottom line is I think the, the world of AI has passed Appen by, and we're seeing that more and more in the numbers they're reporting. Look, the other big factor for Appen going back about 18 months was that Apple changed the way that um, advertisers could, or changed some of the things advertisers could and couldn't do with their devices, and that meant uh, significantly lower spending uh, on the advertising component, which was another thing they were they were um, really relying on. So, uh, things can always get worse. Is the message uh, when it comes to the technicals? That, that's speaking to some of the underlying uh, narratives around Appen. But with the technicals, days like this, I think are really instructive. Uh, when we get uh, a profit downgrade like the one we've had, the market is disappointed. Um, often you're going to get a drop at the open, and then you want to see how the price responds from there. So if we close near the lows today, it's telling you that people have assessed the news, and that supply persisted into the end of the session. Uh, so at the same time, demand was non-existent. It's not like people were coming in to buy the dip and find the bargain now that prices are lower. That's if we close near the lows. However, if we can push back up and close near the highs, it doesn't look like it's happening on Appen today. It's telling you that maybe the market is interpreting this as, well, that's the last of the bad news. It is time to buy the dip and we're happy to take the punt. So watch that close. It's not looking good at the moment. Yeah, down currently by about 21, 22%. Is there anything in the Appen fundamental story, anything that management has said today, Daniel, that would give you reassurance that things are set for a turnaround? Uh, not particularly. I think it was pretty clearly evident since 2020 when they started um, introducing those really significant downgrades that it was more of a, a business model issue. It was more of a structural issue within the company rather than potentially a periodic issue. And we've seen the story play out since then. You know, almost every update and result has been to the negative side. So for us, it's probably more of a structural problem with the business model itself. It was always more of a, essentially a labor hire business, really. Um, if anyone actually had a look at the app and platform, it was simply, you know, people on it um, getting paid by app and to narrate data and, you know, click on the images when it comes up, et cetera. So it was already or, um, always really more in, in terms of a labor hire business. And it seems like that part of the model has really been shifted elsewhere in terms of competition and also potentially cut out with technological advancements. So for us, it's 
more of a fundamental issue. Um, we wouldn't be near the stock. We, we started covering it in 2017. So we were part of the story really early and um, there were just a lot of yellow flags along the way around that 2020 period. So it, it would have to be a significant turnaround for us to, to regain trust in the business. So lack of trust. All right. And Carl, that would be just an avoid for now for you? Yeah, look, I don't think there's any reason to fish for it down here. And as I said, wait for the price action. Look, I, I'm open to buying anything that's going up, Nadine, and this one's not going up. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's not. Sure isn't. Not today, at least. Well, we'll leave that one there. That's the stock of the day, Appen.